gaggle. There are no babies in this gaggle, but if there were, they would be called goslings. These domesticated geese are biologically no different from the wild geese, only in their behavior. These are Canada geese. They have a very good life here on the farm, so they stay here. They leave it to their wild cousins to make the awesome high mileage migration from the cold Arctic to the warm Gulf Coast and back each year. Geese are raised on the farm mostly for their eggs. You can tell by the fuzzy nature of their feathers that these are young geese, older than goslings, but not yet adult. In the background, you can hear the sound that geese normally make. And geese are sometimes confused with ducks, but geese have longer necks. Both geese and ducks are often found where there's water. Can you tell which of these geese are the adults? Another bird on Old MacDonald's farm is the turkey. And there's a marked difference between domesticated turkeys and wild turkeys. Turkeys are usually raised for their meat. As food, turkeys are very popular in the United States at Thanksgiving and at Christmas. Turkeys grow to be very large birds, so one turkey can usually feed the whole crowd that gathers around the table for these holidays. <laughs> In the foreground here is a turkey hen, while a male turkey spreads its tail in the background. A male turkey is called a tom. Now toms spread their tails in a display to attract the female. Let's see how this works out. Tom is certainly doing his best, but the hen seems more interested in being on the other side of the fence than in mating with this flamboyant Romeo. It's a sad story for the Tom. The object of his pursuit has literally flown the coop. Not every farmer tends honeybees on the farm, but that's what's going on on this farm. The smoke from this device calms down members of the hive, allowing the beekeeper access to the teeming hive. Bees are raised to produce honey that's the excess food they store in the cells they make. Honeybees are from Europe. They produce the highest quality honey in the volume that makes all this work worthwhile. This panel is inspected to okay, see the bees' ahead. progress. Build this home, and I see nectar in there. They're busy filling those and laying eggs. And, well, not in this one, though, because we've got the queen excluded. Worker bees arrive with the nectar they've gleaned from flowers, as well as their dusting of pollen. While honey bees are domesticated, like these, some hives are wild. There are also many species of bees that are native to America. All of them provide a critical function of pollinating crops and other plants. Let's see what this one looks like.
You can clearly see the cells they make from beeswax. Look at the yellow structures. Do you remember these farm animals? One goes, bah, and the other one goes, <coughs> well, it's a goat and a pig. We have some sayings about farm animals in English. We'll learn about that and more when we return. So we'll be right back after this. What's a horse doing on ramping up your English? We're galloping toward a new unit, animals. So we're in the country meeting some horses. Horses are just one of the many animals that will help viewers ramp up their English. So funny. Our Mr. Cowboy, you loving that? Horses, boy, I'm, I'm getting the flies. You see, horses have to deal with flies. Coming soon to RVTV Voices, a new unit on ramping up your English, an educational support program for intermediate level English learners from all language backgrounds. So how can horses help you improve your English? Watch Ramping Up Your English to find out on channels 15 and 115 in Ashland and channel 182 on Charter Cable in Southern Oregon.